This star exploded 168,000 years ago, called Supernova 1987A. We saw it in 1987, and that's why it has the name. But that was just the light finally getting here. It went off in a nearby galaxy known as the Large Magellanic Cloud. And it's kind of wild to think that we're now just seeing something that happened so long ago. Space is kind of like a time machine. It's the closest supernova observed in nearly 400 years. Now, this is known as a Type II supernova, which means that it came from the collapse of the core of a massive star that still had hydrogen in its outer layers at the time of the explosion. They star at least eight times the sun's mass. And when it runs out of fuel, it collapses its core under gravity and sends shock waves blasting out all of its outer layers into space, including light, heat, and neutrinos. Now this was actually a blue supergiant star, which is pretty surprising to a lot of scientists since type two supernovae tend to come from red supergiants. It's actually the first supernova observed with modern neutrino detectors, confirming theories that most of a supernova's energy is carried away by neutrinos. If you're curious about neutrinos, I did a few videos on those recently, so go ahead and check them out. I'm going to link them below. Bye everyone!